SpaceX is launching its refurbished, its first refurbished rocket booster in an attempt to get two uses out of one rocket. I've already done a video today. Obviously, it's the video you watched yesterday and now I'm gonna do half of another one tonight because this could be really big news. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, right. I hope it works. Sounds like they did a fair amount of refurb on this rocket. But then I guess, you know, it's like the first time they've ever tried this, so they probably did want to make just, you know, some small tweaks. It's like something out of Jules Verne or, you know, it's like Battlestar Galactica, kind of. But real. It just, it blows my mind. Huh? Such a good idea doing webcasts. Of, of rocket launch is just generally a good idea and SpaceX do do it very well in a sort of Elon Musk-esque kind of way you know they've got their marketing sorted right two minutes to go 30 seconds well she's cleared the tower Come on, SpaceX, come on. You just never know what's gonna happen. That's partly why this is so exciting. Our primary mission is SES-10, and it's looking great this far. Uh, so let's go up to John I for a status update. Well, their primary mission might be SES-10, but my primary mission is seeing this rocket fly for the second time. Wow. You can actually see the grid fins glowing from the heat. Ah, I don't know if they've landed it. Mind you, you know what? They've flown it twice, so... I think they've landed it. They've flown it twice, they've landed it twice. This is totally mental. Oh my god, it's just sitting there right in the middle of the barge. The drone ship. You know what? This is a good example of people just saying, right, this is theoretically possible. I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna do it. It can be done, I'm gonna do it. That's basically what SpaceX is doing here. No matter how unbelievably impossible and totally crazy it seems, before... Uh, the first reflight of an orbital class booster, I incredible milestone in the history of space. Yeah, it is an incredible milestone. Hay fever is causing me serious trouble today. It seems to have been set off by the, uh, oh, going to London yesterday. So, uh, I don't know why, but sunglasses help. And besides, it means I don't have to look at my bloodshot eyes. And, other than being way overexcited about the awesomeness that is SpaceX, what I'm also going to be doing today is just going through some of the basic features of my folding longboard. We're nearing completion with this folding skateboard project, which is really awesome. And I've made a bucket load of little refinements since I first cut the thing in half. Come on. You can get Jasper. Also on the docket for today is I'm getting my hair cut and so's Jasper. So briefly going back to SpaceX, I'm kind of amazed that other people don't seem to get as excited as I am about it. It's just incredible. For the entirety of my whole life, rockets have been single use, basically just big fireworks that if you're lucky you do something useful as well. And now they might actually turn into vehicles, like proper vehicles that can be used more than once. I would say that this is on the scale of the moon landings in terms of moving us forwards from a space point of view. So, wow, super excited, boom. Right, let's go get the haircuts. It is indeed. I'm loving the helmet hair, by the way, mate. Oh yeah! Can't see Jasper's hair because he's wearing a helmet. Jasper, this way! 
I've been promising Jasper an ice cream all day long and he has been extremely good. So, proper ice cream. Gonna have a child sized portion of the Malteser ice cream, was it? The Malteser one, I think, yeah. Just whatever's as small as it can possibly be. Right, careful there, Jasper. Careful down the hill, monkey. Whoa, so far. You're a maniac. <laughs> yeah, that was seriously good fun. Watch out for cars. This way, Jasper. That's it. Okay. So the key features of this board are, because there's a hinge on the top and a hinge on the bottom, and only this one's got a bar, this hinge stops the board from collapsing past level, for the most part, which is why it's quite, quite stable. These latches are primarily just to stop twist, which is another thing that this top hinge does, because you don't want it to twist. And the other thing about these latches is it mean you can, means you can pick it up, and no matter what you do, it won't fold on itself. So basically, the idea is, when it's a longboard, it's a proper, ordinary longboard, albeit a bit noisier than it should be. But I'm gonna fix that, these things rattle a bit. And when it's a folding board, you can just fold it and also it's got this handy little thing that I've added in the middle just to pick it up by. So, give that a quick fold, like that. Just take these ones off first, which makes it a little bit easier to do these ones. And then, hey presto! Nice, easy to manage, long board. Pop it straight into the car. Now Jasper's had his ice cream. He has been incredibly good, actually, he really has. Because I've had to catch up on my editing a little bit today, because tomorrow is one of those no time for editing days. Good news is, it's the no time for editing days that are usually the most fun. And we like fun, don't we, Jasper? Oh yeah. yeah. Right, see. And especially when you got the slope on. <laughs> yeah, Jasper really liked that slope. I'm not surprised. It was seriously good fun, actually. Very definitely 90%, please. Because it's going to be a long old journey tomorrow. I think it'll probably be something like 400 miles I'm going to do, four, 500 miles in total. There oh, we go. Thank you. A couple more changes that I've just recently made that I'll show you when we get inside. Because most of the pressure from these loops was originally going into the edge of the wood here, I figured it was a good idea to put a little bit of plastic right under there. So just a little L of plastic on each one of these little gaps. So it's something to just hopefully stop the wood from pushing in too much. And also I just added a bit of this, it's actually draft excluder along these edges. And the primary purpose of that was just to sort of, again, just protect the wood really. I don't know how long it'll last. I like the design, it certainly rides very well. So I have no problem with that. Bit of an annoying noise just because of those latches. I almost forgot, although you probably did notice anyway, I've put a handle here, which is extremely useful because it means I can just pick the thing up and it's actually quite comfortable to carry. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to like it and share it and subscribe if you didn't already. And follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye. That handle used to be a, a lanyard from a Nissan Leaf event I went to at Silverstone about four years ago. But it was really good quality nylon, so I figured, hey, and also, you know, electric vehicles, folding longboards, there's kind of a connection there.